In this video, we're going to learn how to solve some problems with regards to first order reaction. Let's have a look at the first question. Hydrolysis of glucose has the rate constant value K of 2.107 times 10 to the power of negative 3 per minute. How long does it take for the glucose to be hydrolyzed by 29.45%? We have four steps that we can do to solve this question. Let's have a look at the first one. So what we need to do first is we need to identify the order of reaction. Since the question does not say what is the order of reaction, we have to look at the unit of K. So when you look at the unit of K, so the K over here has the units of per minute. Because of that, we know this reaction is going to be first order and we're going to use the integrated rate equation of loan concentration initial. Remember, this is initial concentration minus the loan concentration at a given time equals to kt. Okay, so that is how you're going to identify the order of reaction if the question does not say. So you have to look at the unit of your rate constant. Okay, and then second, what you need to do is we need to identify what the question wants. The question wants you to find the time. Okay, how long does it take? for the glucose to be hydrolyzed by 29.45%. And the question gives you this information over here. It's a very, very important information. We have the word hydrolyzed by 29.45. If you have the word by over here, then you need to find out what is the concentration at a given time okay so how do you do that you need to minus 100 minus 29.45 therefore the concentration at a given time will be 70.55 percent so by doing this you should be able to get one mark after that, step three, you have to write let A, let A equals to glucose. If you do not write this, then your scheme of work will be deemed as invalid. So also we need to assume that 100% equals to 100 molar, which is gonna be the initial concentration because the question uses percentage over here and it's very important for you to show this as well. So the initial concentration will be 100 molar and the concentration at a given time will be 70.55 based on what we have done over here. Finally step four for this question we're just gonna substitute all the value so we take all the values that we have here substitutes into your integrated rates equation you're going to substitute into this integrated rates equation to that form over here and you should be able to get your time so the time taken for um, the glucose to be hydrolyzed by 29.45% will be 165.57 minutes. And why do we use minutes here? You have to remember the K units uses the units of 
minutes. Okay, so you have to be careful with that one. So the answer is 165.57 and the units of time you have to refer to your rate constant value units as well. So how do you get your mark? You will get one mark for this and you will get one mark for this whole thing and also one mark right over here and sometimes this part will also going to have one mark for the next question given the half-life for a radioactive sample is one five zero second so that is a very important piece of information so you have the half-life of radioactive sample 150 second and you need to calculate the percentage of the mass remained after 300 seconds the question doesn't say that this is going to be zero first or second so how do you know that from the information right here the word radioactive so when you see the word radioactive you know that it will be first order reaction why because all radioactive samples will proceed via first order reaction so you have to remember this one as well it's very very vital second steps we need to look for what the question wants so the question wants you to find the percentage of the remaining sample meaning how much of the radioactive sample going to stay behind after 300 seconds and the question gives you the half-life okay the one that i have highlighted in blue so you have the half-life which is 150 seconds and thus we have to use the half-life equation for first order which is ln 2 over k in order for us to find k we want to find k because we need to use this equation to find what we need right there to find concentration at a given time the question does not have the k value so we have to find it by using the formula of ln 2 over k okay and then the t half over here half life is given to you and we can proceed to step three so as usual for step three you have to let a equals to radioactive sample we have to define what is a first and we need to assume that 100 percent equals to 100 molar because we're still dealing with percentage over here and so the initial concentration will be equals to 100 and step four what we need to do is we need to find the k value so this is how you're going to find the k value you're going to use the formula of half-life over there for okay so this is the half-life equation for first order and we're just going to substitute the value that is given to you just now and you should be able to find out what is the k value 4.621 times 10 to the power of negative 3 per second because the half-life given is in second by doing that you will have one mark right there as usual this one is going to be one mark and that part will be one mark as well 
Okay, so to solve this, we need to proceed to the final step, which is step number five. And so what is that? So we're going to use the integrated rates equation. Okay, the integrated rates equation for first order. And remember, the A over here is your radioactive sample. That's important. So you substitute all the value that you have just now, 100 initial concentration, just now initial concentration 100 and concentration at a given time. This is the one that we want to figure out. And this is the one that we have worked out. So this is the value of K that we have found here. And 300 is the time that is given to you right there. Okay, so that is the time that is given to you. You're just going to substitute into T there. So when you solve the whole thing, you should be able to get the concentration at a given time equals to 25. Okay. So when you able to use this, you get one mark, you get one mark for that one, but we're not going to stop over there yet because our job is to calculate the percentage of the remaining sample. So how do you solve that? We're just going to use a very simple mathematical formula to find percentage. So concentration at a given time divided by initial concentration, which is 100. So this is the initial concentration, 100 concentration at a given time 25 to have 25 percent and that will be another one mark okay the third question also given to you now the half-life of a radio isotope y is one zero six nine years you have the word radioisotope. It, you know, it sounds like radioactive. And since the question does not give you what is the order of this reaction, the clue will be right here. So that is the clue that this is going to be a first order reaction. So step one, you have the first order reaction. How do you know that this is going to be first order since all radioactive samples have first order reactions? And next step two, we need to know what the question wants. The question wants to know the time. Okay, the time required for Y to decrease by 25%. Note that the question used the word by. So you need to work out what is concentration at a given time. So question gives the half-life value, which is 1069 years. And therefore, we need to use the half-life equation to find the value, the K value, because we need to use the integrated rates equation to find time okay we need to find time over here right so that is what we need to use therefore we need to get our k value step three again you need to define what is a so let A going to be the radio isotope Y. And we need to assume that 100% is equal to 100 molar. 
So the initial concentration will be 100. And when you use the ln2 over k right here, 1069 is the half-life, we should be able to work out the value of k, which is 6.484 times 10 to the power of negative 4 per year. Why is it year? Because your half-life in years. So again, that will give you one mark. This one, one mark. That one, one mark. And this you will get one mark. Okay, so we have found um, the K value. So what about the original? Um, what is the time required then? So step four. So the question gives that it will decrease by 25%. Note that it used the word by. So when you have the word by over here, you have to work out what is the concentration at a given time. So how do you going to solve that? So you're going to do it in this way, like what we have done just now. Okay, because you have decreased by, you have the word by. When you have by over here, you have 100 minus 25, then you get 75. Then this is the concentration at a given time. So substitute all the value inside of the integrated rate equation for first order. You should be able to get the answer for 43.68 years. This is the initial concentration. That is the concentration at the given time. Okay. So that is the initial concentration over here. Okay, remember that is the initial concentration and therefore that is going to be the time taken for. Um, it decreased to 25% of its original mass. So by getting the right answer, you have one mark. And by working out this, you will have another one mark.